Tonight, the story of a young boy bitten by a venomous snake in Louisiana is touching the hearts of many of you on our Facebook page. A copperhead snake bit four-year-old Lawson Brown twice on the wrist last Sunday after the boy held the snake and set it down. Doctors are treating him in Houston and relatives tell us he's doing well. The story has drawn more than 200,000 views to our Facebook page. More on that in a moment, but first, KFDM Sarai Demean shares how it happened and what you can learn from it. Will Scherer is a biologist interning at Gator Country in Finette. He has a lot of experience in handling snakes. This is a snake about this size. This is a cottonmouth here, also known as a water moccasin. A water moccasin, or cottonmouth as some call it, bit Scherer five years ago. And I came upon a cottonmouth and tried to, you know, I wanted to pick it up and see what it makes sure it was a cottonmouth. So I reached down to pick it up, it went up under a rock, and he, he bit me right on into my finger. He says he was lucky. It was a dry bite. 70% uh, of snake bites will be dry bites which means they will, they will bite you with their fangs, but they won't actually envenomate you. Sharer is also familiar with copperheads, like this one at Gator Country. A copperhead bit four-year-old Lawson Brown Sunday in Louisiana, across the state line from Newton County. His family has relatives in Jasper County. The child is recovering at a Houston hospital. Relatives have posted on our Facebook page and say he's doing well. It took at least four doses of anti-venom to help reduce the swelling. Copperheads actually bite more people in the United States and any other venomous snake, the reason being they're more widespread throughout North America and their camouflage. DJ Buckin says to be aware of your surroundings in rural areas, especially after a heavy rain that often bring out snakes. Before or after a big rain, whenever their prey items become more active is when they're going to be more active. He says if a snake bites you, leave it alone, get medical help quickly, and try not to panic. Stay calm, because if you start freaking out and running around, all you're doing is accelerating your heart rate and just uh, pushing that venom through your body that's that much more quickly. Sharer says the snake bite taught him a valuable lesson. Best thing to do when you see a snake is just stay away from it. You don't want to try to, you know, provoke a snake. Like 75% of snake bites are provoked by people playing with them. Infinite, Sarai Demean, KFDM 6 News. Do you see enough snakes? Yeah. <laughs> snakes bite about 6,000 people each year in the U.S. and average about six people dying.